Hey guys, what's up? A video from my mom's car, not from the assembly, because I really have no time to do a video from the assembly and now that I'm driving like six hours a day, I think it's the best that I use this time to do a video for you. So, Bonfire X deliveries and just all deliveries from all the bonfires will be delayed. The reason, as I said in the last video, are the battery deliveries, they are just late takes longer until we get them and without batteries we cannot chip the bikes or the bikes will not work and uh, certification just takes longer for the bonfire X and some problems that we experienced in the last months which are normal those problems happen but when they happen it's just a setback and it just takes longer to finish stuff so the first thing is the assembly team as you know we are a small company so we have been like three full-time workers in total so if one or two workers uh, quit their jobs it's like 60 percent of the workforce is just gone <laughs> and the 30 percent that are left is, is me like always i'm the last man standing and then all the work just comes back to me um, and since february i was not just like doing all the stuff i'm doing right now but i was also like building bikes um, building bikes is not really a scalable job so you cannot really scale it that much if you need three hours to build a bike you will just need three hours and time is limited so <laughs> I had to build a bike so if I wanted to build like 10 or I don't know like eight bikes in a week I had to spend like 20 to 30 hours just like building bikes and then I could do the rest of my work is the certification of the Bonfire X just general stuff that stuff that's not working well and just a lot a lot of problems and it seems crazy that it takes two years until you get your bike if you like looking from outside you think what's happening there why is it taking so long why 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 but when you're inside maybe I have to do a vlog you will be surprised how much stuff is going wrong how many problems you experience like day after day week after week and you just have to have like the courage to just like keep going keep going and just believe that everything will be good in the end um, so after um, uh, Christmas my full-time employee for the assembly cancelled or quit the job reason is simple he wanted more money he wanted more holidays um, so he wanted 24 25% more salary and 10 days more holiday and in that point in winter as you know we are a seasonal business people don't buy bikes during Christmas people buy different stuff on Christmas so we didn't sell so many bikes sales go down you don't have so many so much cash so my answer was pretty simple it's like right now I cannot we cannot pay more money we cannot afford it in the future of course when the business is going well but now we don't have money uh, that's why he quit so it's okay it's, it's, a, it's a good reason I would say but when your assembly or your full-time worker is not there, it just I, I had to build the bikes in the end of February. And all and all the other workers and the assembly, like half-time working students, they also quit. One the one after December and the other one after February. So in March I was completely alone. So I did like the pre-assembly, main assembly, delivery and all the others. So all everything that you can do in a company, I, I'm doing it since February. Um, that's why everything is just taking so long because you cannot just do a company on your own it's it's difficult it's exhausting um, it's not making it's not enjoyable life I would say the last three months was, was hard for me then I was sick with corona three days was like I felt like total shit in three days I couldn't do anything just like lying and then um, my girlfriend also was sick we're living together and she's also working in our company um, she's a good help she helps really a lot but when she was gone and I was gone in March there was no one else in the company so the company was like two weeks just like standing still nothing happened um, and the, all this work you didn't do in the two weeks they, they don't just go away when you come back and you're like a little sick still a little bit sick not 100% fit you have to do this work um, and I know you guys from America from USA you work hard you work a lot in Germany it's a bit more chill you have more holidays you have 
more work-life balance, I would say. Um, but this was really tough. Uh, so a lot of emails, a lot of stuff, a lot of problems. Everyone's waiting for their bike. Everyone's waiting for the bonfire eggs. People waiting for the bonfire as that I ordered. And I had to do everything alone. So it just takes longer because I cannot like split myself in three people and just like build bikes and and uh, do this company and answer all the emails and also repair bikes uh, because right now I was driving to Berlin repaired the bike there which just was not working so the wiring harness was not working I had to just swap it and then there was another bike there where the swing arm was not welded correctly so I had to swap this one as well it's just two bikes out of 150 they were not like working it's still good you know because the other 147 bikes are working everything seems good that's why I'm happy but I had to do it now because I knew about it before I got sick with Corona and um, now Easter I just had to finish it now because now tomorrow I will be driving to Bologna this is in Italy uh, where we're gonna do the range test for the bonfire eggs so I'm driving now three days eight hours a day uh, just to finish all this stuff because it just sums up all but now I finished it I finished a lot of stuff in a week I'm back now um, so we are right on track we have a new half-time employee who's doing pre-assembly now in April he is basically doing like 80% of the work now not completely alone but I think after April I can leave him alone um, he's doing a good job and in May I'm gonna have a new full-time employee as a main assembly um, and, but I will need like one month to make him work it takes just a while until you get like this whole process and you understand everything and then I think in June I can spend my time in, in different things which are more important to the company uh, I can spend my time building bikes but I think uh, my my qualities lie somewhere else is in building the company and making the product better um, which will I will do then in June again uh, and then I don't have too much stuff to do uh, so the bonfire X will start shipping probably in May or June because the batteries are not here yet um, and the reason is that we didn't order enough battery not because I'm bad at mathematics and I can't calculate how many batteries we need but we to get the batteries in, in spring now on time we had to order them in December or November it's before Christmas and the sales were like not good and it was our first year as a company as I guess most of you know I'm still a student I was a student when I started this company it's my first company that I started so it's normal for me to do some mistakes and it's the first time I'm doing a business especially it's a seasonal one so I did not have the experience like how well will 2022 be how many bikes uh, are we gonna ship and sell um, so I didn't want to spend too much money on batteries if we didn't sell so much bikes in Ju uh, January and February because then the money would not be there anymore and then the company would be gone and I think number one priority for me is always the company that it survives and after this to make a good product um, so I didn't order that much batteries just to have like enough cash for the whole winter just to be safe until March and April where I was sure that sales are gonna uh, be higher again uh, luckily after I think mid January and February sales started to rise again uh, and really good so since February sales are really good so they are at the level which we wanted it to have um, at the level where we can build as many bikes as we can also sell right now but the problem was also that we don't, didn't have an assembly worker so we did sell enough bikes but I had to build them and I couldn't build as many bikes as a full-time employee because I can't spend so much time so um, we sold more bikes than we can build which is not a bad thing at all but people will then have to wait longer it which is also not so cool so as you see so many problems so much stuff that can go wrong and uh, you just have to do decisions and sometimes it's the right decision sometimes it's the wrong decision if I would have known that the sales go up in January again I would have ordered more batteries then we would have now enough batteries to ship like I don't know 30 or 40 
bonfire eggs in May or well, in April already. This would have been great, but in the after everything happens, you all, like in Germany, you say like in the end you always know better. But in the beginning, you never know what's going to happen. There's so many things that can go wrong. Um, so in the end, I guess the, even though a lot of things went wrong and. Uh, I was just left alone in the company and I had no team anymore. I still think we're doing good because I'm putting a lot of effort and I'm putting a lot of my health uh, in the company. Because I, I love the product, I believe in the company, I believe in our mission and I think uh, it's just the right thing to do and I don't want to do anything else right now. Um, so I guess if I can continue like this, the company will be good you will all get your bike but I have to build my team now again and I have to find a team which will not just like stay half a year in the company but <laughs> hopefully like one or two years you know and then maybe get a few more assembly workers so if one leaves the company the other assembly worker can help the other one just to understand the whole assembly process so I don't have to spend my time doing this um, but building a company is, is just as difficult and if it would be easy everyone would do it um, but I, I, I think we will we will manage it and we will be faster we will build more bikes in upcoming months and all the bikes that are now left from the Indigo campaign I think it's like 100 something um, we will finish them this year until summer and then everyone will get this bike and some of you will have to wait two years some got their bike after one and a half year one and a year and a few months which is not fair I, I know I understand this but in the end nothing is fair and but we couldn't do I think any any better than this right now uh, because it's just me and I'm doing 100% promised and more than this it's not possible and the new workers that, that, that will be here in the company, if they also gonna give 100%, we're gonna manage to build the bike, we're gonna ship it, and then when you will have the bike, and the company is still alive, and we're doing well, then the next thing will be service. Um, because you also wanna have fun on your bike, you wanna enjoy it, you wanna ride around, and this is super important. And we also have a guarantee of two years that the bike will work, so the next step for me will be to keep that promise that you can ride on your bike and enjoy your rides for as long as possible. Um, and since I am alone, I can only do things step by step and really slowly. So right now for me it's Bonfire X, Bonfire E, then this thing is done and then I will concentrate on service and improving the product. And then assembly is someone else's job, not mine anymore. Um, and I guess this is the most important stuff right now. Um, is there something else you should have? Uh, m maybe if you have some kind of questions, just ask them and I can do a video and just tell you uh, what's my opinion, what's the status quo. As you know, we, we try to be as open as possible. I know from the update the last update in the Google update for the English uh, US backers they were not nice uh, feedback I can understand it why the feedback is not nice why you are disappointed um, but in the end it it was no decision for us to like cancel your bike because you you still get your bike for the price you paid for it the problem is we cannot just give it to you now we need time and as you see we need time because I'm alone in this company right now and I cannot build like 60 bikes or 100 bikes and then also like do all the other stuff in the company because there's a lot of stuff in the company and a one-man show is just not healthy and it's not working um, and until I get my team ready it's just um, you just have to spend like half a year until you get a good team you have to look for them you have to search you have to do interviews 
and then like one or two months passes already until you got your candidate then he will tell you when he can start then he starts and you need like one two months to understand everything and i mean half a year is gone just to get like the right person you know it's it's uh, incredible because normally you would say okay just get someone get a team start building bikes and then you're already in a month but it just takes uh, way longer uh, and for the american bikes the problem is that i did a mistake and my mistake was to put the price too low uh, it's too cheap I, I had to put the price higher so even the bikes the very first bikes that we shipped in germany we didn't make any money on them we, we, we lost money on them so every bike we shipped we just lost a lot of money per bike I knew it but I still did it because it was my mistake because I put the price too low and I put the price too low for the US backers I know this but I told you we're gonna ship the bikes but it just takes time because you have to get the cash that's now missing um, and everyone who wanted it uh, faster the bikes you got uh, the faster shipping but i think it was only like one or two persons from the us and some people cancelled it because it was too late and then this is just bad luck it's nothing that we did on purpose but the exchange rate changed so you get less dollar back we could have said okay you get the same amount in us dollar back but the problem here is that indiegogo never paid us the full amount but then you go ahead like a 10% commission at least plus transaction fees 2% so like 300 euros per bike we're not in our bank account but just for Nigogo. so we when we pay back the full price to you we lose again money uh, per bike and then with the exchange rate we would lose additionally more money and if you look at the Indiegogo page, it says when you cancel your bike, which is possible, uh, we have a 200 euro cancellation fee. So everyone who canceled before that, we always told them there's a 200 cancellation fee you have to be aware of. This was like always on our page. And um, so all the persons who got less US dollar back because of the exchange rate, it is the same amount basically or maybe less that you would have uh, get back less with the 200 euro uh, cancellation fee uh, so in the end you didn't like lose any money but we so i said as a company let's fuck those 200 euros cancellation fee because the exchange rate is so bad and in the end the customer loses a bit of money and we lose a bit of money uh, because as you know crowdfunding is not shopping and it's nothing that i just like said it now but it says also in indiegogo when you buy the bike uh, crowdfunding is not shopping it's an investment and it can happen that your investment is bad and i mean if you lose 200 euros it's, it's not nice it's a bad feeling uh, of course but it's part of the investment um, and if you cancel your bike then you lose this money it's, it's part of the deal that we did in the beginning, you know. It's nothing that I now just like said, and I said, everyone gets now, uh, when you cancel in the US, you get like 200 US dollar less because we are a company, we want this money and blah, blah, blah. No, the reason is just like exchange rate is, is worse and you have a 200 euro cancellation fee, but I had decided to do it 50 50 so the money you lose 200 euro is also exactly the same amount that we lose because we had the cancellation fee that you don't have to pay for so i thought this is a, a good solution in the end for everyone um but yeah but there are always some people which are angry which don't like the way you do things decide things this is normal uh we have to live with that um and I also understand that there are always different opinions. This is totally normal. Um, but uh, yeah, I just uh, got like twice in questions about some comments in Facebook. I have to check the Facebook page, especially due to US. I'm not sure what happened there. I have to check Facebook again. But uh, yeah, everyone who wants the bonfire will get it for the price you paid. If you cannot wait that long, then you can cancel it um but um 
I cannot uh, do the company alone completely and build your bike and then make money and uh, let the company live. I just need some time now to build my team, to get a team back uh, and to also do some vacation hopefully soon. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I guess that's all. That's the most important stuff right now. Uh, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you have questions you want to be answered personally or quick, write us in WhatsApp or iMessage or Telegram. Uh, we have the new number there. I got the phone always with me. It's here. And when I get a, a message there, most most of the time I answer on the same day. And I can also do voice messages or videos and I can just give a more explain, explain, a better explanation to questions than uh, writing through emails. I hate writing emails because it just takes so long until you write everything down. Then you have like uh, spelling mistakes and you have to change them. And in German you also have like capital letters and some words and stuff like this. Um, it's just annoying. Uh, I love talking making videos uh so send me messages on whatsapp it's the best way um yeah so 20 minutes the same as the german video uh i hope it's not too long i hope you're enjoying listening to the stuff what i have to tell i'm just thought this time i tell you just more what kind of stuff happens why it takes just two years to finish a bike and ship it to you why there are so many problems all the time um and um uh, I just wanted to show you I'm the one who's working uh, just to solve the problems. I'm the one who's staying. I'm the last man standing. I'm the one who believes in the mission. I want, I'm the one who wants you to have the bike and everyone else in the company, you can believe that uh, they will cancel a job if they're not paid well. So simple as that. Because my salary is it's, it's no secret. It's 1,000 euro a month. But I'm working <laughs> like 80 hours a week and no vacation. So I guess my hourly wage is like two or three euros. For me, it's not a problem because it's my company. I got something else. Um, but I've, I I believe I'm the only reason the company is alive because I put like so much effort in that and I get paid shit. And that's why we survive right now. Um, but yeah, things are going to be better. Sales are up. We get more money. I guess I can also get a normal salary soon and also give our employees a better salary and more holidays. Uh, and then I guess everyone will be happy this year when they have the bike, when they have the salary and when the company is working. Um, so don't be angry on Facebook. Don't make hate comments. Don't speculate on things. If something happens, you have questions, just ask me, put a post on Facebook, write me on WhatsApp. I try to be as transparent as possible, really. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a problem for us to show things to... Uh, we don't want to hide anything. So a lot of customers are also asking me for a lot of stuff that they want to have, which is like also not secret stuff. With other companies, I'm sure they would not share it. For example, um, some customers did some stickers for the battery box. So they asked me for the measures of the box and I sent them just the measures. Uh, I'm not sure if you can go to some other uh, popular motorcycle brands and ask them for just some measures of some motor parts and stuff <laughs> I guess they will not even answer your mails but uh, we're different uh, we are here for the community uh, without you we, I wouldn't be here we wouldn't be here I always say we at Black Team Motorbikes but right now it's just me and my girlfriend <laughs> so uh, it's basically uh, me no, uh, it's we right now but yeah um Nevertheless, enjoy Eastern. Have a nice time. I will now drive to the office with my bike uh, and then tomorrow to Italy to the range test of the Bonfire X. Uh, and then after this, I will probably post another video just to show you what kind of tests were passed, what's the results of them and how it looks like with all the bikes and the assembly process, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we're going to get there. It's just time that I need right now. See you guys. Enjoy Eastern.